This wasn't your appointed night. That story you told me. I'm not sure I know what you mean. Well, was this friend of yours? Took the advice of his lady friend? Did she take him back? Am I to understand? The day after our last meeting, I broke it off with Madame de Torval on the grounds that it was beyond my control. He did it. I certainly did. How wonderful of you. Yeah. You told me my reputation was in danger, but I think this might turn out to be my most famous exploit. I believe it sets a new standard. Only one thing could possibly bring me greater glory now. What is that? To win her back. You think you could? I don't see why not. I'll tell you why not. Because when one woman strikes at the heart of another, she seldom misses. And the wound is invariably fatal. Is that so? Oh yes. I'm also inclined to see this as one of my greatest triumphs. Something a woman enjoys so much is victory over another woman. <laughs> Except my victory wasn't over her. Of course it was. What do you mean? It was over you. You loved that woman. What's more, you still do. Quite desperately. If you weren't so ashamed of it, how could you have treated her so viciously? You couldn't bear even the vague possibility of being laughed at, which has proven something which I always suspected. That happiness and vanity are incompatible. Whatever may or may not be the truth of these philosophical speculations, the fact remains. It is now your turn to make a sacrifice. Is that so? Dancy must go. Where? I've been more than patient with this little whim of yours, but enough is enough. One of the reasons I never remarried, despite quite a baffling <laughs> array of options, was the determination never again to be ordered about. I must therefore ask you to adopt a less marital tone of voice. She is ill. You know, I have made her ill for your sake. So the least that you could do is get rid of that colourless youth. Haven't you had enough of bullying women for the time being? I can see that I'm going to have to make myself very plain. I have come to spend the night. I shall not take at all kindly to be turned away. I'm sorry, I've made other arrangements. Yes, I knew there was something. What? Danton is not coming. Not tonight. What do you mean? How do you know? I know, because I have arranged for him to spend the night with Cecile. I come to think of it, he did mention that he was expected here. But when I put it to him that he really did have to make a choice. I must say, he did not hesitate. He's coming round tomorrow to explain and to, to offer you his... What was it again? Yes. I think I've got it right. His eternal friendship. As you say, he is entirely devoted to you. That's enough. I absolutely agree. Shall we go up? Shall we what? Go up. Unless you prefer, if memory serves, this rather purgatorial sofa. I think it's time you were leaving. No. I don't think so. We made an arrangement. I really don't think I can allow myself to be taken advantage of for a moment longer. Remember, I'm better at this than you are. Perhaps. But it's always the best swimmers who drown. Now, yes or no? It's up to you, of course. I shall merely confine myself to remarking that a no will be taken as a declaration of war. So 
single word is all that is required. All right. War. <laughs>